and senior. And number 35. Oh, boy. I'm going to let you go back. I'm going to let you get that one. Well, there. you know, I'm going to go with number 35. <laughs> Gibran Jahir Belmont Davosi. So let's go with GBD. We'll Davalos. go with that. There Davalos. you go, Davalos. There we go. From Mexico, 6 8. Well, <laughs> Cullen, well, game two on the hand. I'm really, really excited to see another showing of USBA. Right. You know, you know, we mentioned yesterday that Coach McKnight didn't have a lot of time. Didn't have a lot of time on this belt to really work with his team. I know you mentioned some things that's going on in his area well, that you'll listen, touch on me, later. Let me give you the background okay. uh, on that story there. Okay. Uh, talked to Coach McKnight uh, before the game. Uh, in his area in Oregon, there's fires that have stretched for mm. 30 miles. Mm. Okay. So they just started practice three weeks ago. They, those fires took out 500 power poles, stretching, like I said, for 30 miles. They lost the internet, so the kids hadn't even been able to start school or anything. So they've had a lot of adversity to start this season before before the Steven season even got started. So before it even kicked uh, off, you know, just give a lot of credit to them for for even just getting stuff together to even be here. You and, know, and to be honest, so. and you know they, they didn't play bad yesterday. You know, we just coach Coach McKnight tried to use it as another time to get a, a scrimmage under his belt, so to speak. And and we kind of saw that. So hopefully today. They they have a little more better legs than Coach McKnight. Let them go a little more. That's a great, great finish by Veritas. Veritas, Veritas has always been. You know, I had a chance to see him a little last year. Tough, tough, gritty, gritty team. Always been the makeup of them. Right now, USBA is going to the post. And that was Jalen Lewis there with the miss. And now Veritas comes the other way. Up ahead, Marquis Worthy, no good. It seems like Veritas want to get out and push the place. You know, this is their first game of the grind session bubble. USBA had a game yesterday. So let's see if Veritas want to get up and go up tempo with tonight. Washington hesitates. And Colin. I'm not, I'm not. Well, yes, I am, Colin. <laughs> take your time, kids. Let's, let's stop with the unforced turnovers. Let's take your time. Give me a half fake. Just get a shot fake before you take off. Turn it, turn it. Good. Good. As far as the hands off. Great dribble. Malik Thomas and Great Thomas dribble motion break. Commit, knocks down the mid-range jumper. Great dribble motion breakdown by Malik Thomas for Rancho Cucamonga, number 83 in his class with the pull -up. Washington. To the rack with the left hand, no good, but draws the foul. Washington, 6'3", junior from Portland. Washington holds office from, I see two sports here. We got basketball and football. And basketball, the name of you, Bryant, Oregon State Pacific, Portland State, Washington State. Now we go on the opposite end of that. We got football, Cal, Kansas, Nebraska, Nevada, Oregon State, UCLA, USC. I would love to see Lamar Washington in some pads also. <laughs> yeah, and I think we even may have mentioned that last night with his body type, that he's got that football body type. And it does him well here on the basketball court as well. Really? As now the pressure's full court here. Malik Thomas handles the pressure, takes a screen. Guarded by Tevin Smith. Now Smith. Excuse me, Thomas. Gets fouled by Smith on the two-point shot there, and we'll go to the line for two. Well, that's a great, great dribbling exhibition by Malik Thomas, but he you knows to the pull-up jumper and got the foul. I see here number 83 in his class, USC commit. Very good, Pac-12 kid. Nice stroke there on the free throw. Good rotation. You can tell, you can pick a shooter out real quick. <laughs> and I've got a feeling that Malik Thomas is going to be one of those guys. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Colin, I'm just going to say that has to be because you may be a shooter because you, you mentioned that to me last night. You see guys at the foul line. You see guys with their, with their stroke, how the ball is releasing off their fingers, how it touches the rim, and you can kind of get a picture of that stroke. Cook off on the mid-range. <laughs> 
Thomas will run the show. Thomas cross court to Esparza. Esparza throws it away to Washington, and Washington will push. Washington stepped out of bounds, no foul called, so Veritas will get possession of the ball. Well, Veritas tonight is being coached by Coach B, as in Brian, the associate head coach, because Coach George isn't able to, to be here tonight. He will be here tomorrow. He's dealing with a death in the family. So, you know, prayers going out to Coach, and we'll be excited to see him tomorrow. Sparza to Worthy. Worthy for three, no good. Washington grabs the rebound up to Cook. Cook will push, hold, and now back to Washington. Washington jabs. Now calls out of, out of play. Corner to Tevin Smith. Washington. Oh, we're gonna get You're going to get Cook with a legal there. Cook doesn't agree. I'm not sure that I do either. You know, a lot of times that call gets gets called on the reaction of the defensive player. And a lot of times it's because the screen isn't called out by his teammate. There you go. It, it's, it's like a shot to him. It's a shot to him. So, you know, it sails. And right then it worked out for his favor. But it goes down to communication on defense. It's a good hustle there from Dabalos, Belmonte Dabalos, but he couldn't come up with it. Out of bounds. The USBA, Washington brings it to the front court. Salt into Smith, and Smith now to Cook, and Cook's off with the three. Coach McKnight, Coach McKnight tried to get Cook to open look with a little floppy action down screen, but Cook just short on the front end. Veritas draws a foul, so they'll take it out underneath. 6-2, early here in the first half, 15 minutes on the clock. Veritas to inbound. Thomas up top to Belmonte Davalos, and we've got it, I think. <laughs> Another unforced turnover. Travel. Travel, okay. Yes, yes, thank you, sir. Just slow down, kids. Kids, it's a lesson to be learned. Catch the ball. Take, you take a deep breath before you take that move. Make that move, Salton please. To Washington for three. Left-hander, no good. Now Thomas up ahead, and that's Worthy. Worthy sprints out and gets the lay-in. Way to run the floor, Marquis Worthy. Well, we, we're going to – great great transition, great way to take the ball off the rebound and to get an open look up ahead. But we're going to blame Washington on that. The shooter should have got back on defense there. Salton, short corner, short. Short changed it. And here comes Thomas up the middle of the floor. Now he wants a screen, uses it, and uses it again for three. Thomas off the glass is good. 6.07 in Phoenix, Arizona, and the bank is still open. <laughs> 11 to two, Veritas with an early lead. USBA, Washington, Smith, good. Way to answer, way to answer by Tevin Smith. You know, you give up a three on the other end and you come right back with the answer, way to answer. Three ball from Smith makes it a six point game. Cross screen for Esparza, on the catch, uses the screen, Barrett. Del Monte. Veritas is in no rush, but turn over there. Sparza. Thought he was going to take the charge there, but Smith gets to the rim, no good. Cook comes up with it, back to Smith for three. Smith, short. Big man, Lewis. And that one. And one. You know, that's a, hey, this is the first time mentioning Lewis' name tonight, but I figured it won't be the last. Six, nine, sophomore, number two in this class. Arkansas, Cal, Georgetown. It's the reason he's holding them offers. His, his skill set is unprecedented. And we talk about bodies. Now, hmm. you take a kid with, as a sophomore with, with his body, and, and the way that we know what we know about sports, the way his body is going to develop in the next couple years and thereafter, this kid is a big-time problem for the rest of the country. Well, you know, you add two years of, of, of development, maturity, of just yeah. growing maturity, of just knowing 
Well, we have a foul there. Washington with the reach. Picks up a foul. And now Bret Hart Jr. comes into the game. Or oh, excuse me. That's another team, my bad. Lead to Bro, I'm sorry. He kind of looks like Bret Hart Jr. He does, he does. I can see. Getting my guys mixed can, up here. I can see where you can say that. Look kind of like him. Maybe that's why he didn't get my Bret Hart <laughs> uh, joke to begin the game. Yeah. Or before the pre pregame. <laughs> Thomas off on the three. Great move. That's a great, great way. You know, Kabanga really, I like the head fake, taking his time to, to see what the defender's going to do, then make a move. DeBrule throws it in to Kawazi. The Kawazi, excuse me. Smith to Kawazi, and Kawazi's good for three. Great shot. Just, you know, Coach. One thing that I can say about USBA, they are a great, well-coached team. Coach, Coach McKnight, he, like you say, he's feeling his, he's feeling his way. He's feeling his way in this grind session. First year on the grind session. Nick Thomas goes right. He's going to get a foul from across the court. Tough take by Thomas to draw the foul. 12.04 on the clock, 11.10, Veritas. Thomas Pure from the line. Thomas, four for four from the free throw line. I really like Thomas' touch at the line. Like you said, he's getting the shooter's roll, even when he's coming up short. Tevin Smith on the wing. They're going to look to go post here. The Great. Oklahoma football commit. Rawlings Kabange. Good on the, on the uh, hook shot. Well, that's a great set by McKnight to, you know, get the ball to Kabange. Once again, here we go, unforced error, Colin. Unforced error, Colin. It's a theme. It seemed like a theme for, from, from teams all over throughout the grind session. Just in a rush. It's just rushing, rushing the pace. Slow down, kids, once again. Alex, 33. Alex, will bring it up. Six. Rollins, Kabange. To Debro on the wings, good for three. Great pass by Kabange. Rollins Kabange with the assist. Tevin Smith pressures the ball. Sparza. USBA has a first lead of the night. Oh, great take. That's Alex Archer with a chance for the AM1. Ties the ball game up at 15. Archer good on the free throw. Great tough drive by Archer with the finish. Back and forth game, back and yeah, forth game. Yeah, we got game. a good one. My guys are filling this out. Pressure by Thomas. We got a high horns look here. Rawlings Kabange ah. saw it. Too Just high a on the too pass. Much on it. Too high on the pass, the Bonga. Nice set there by USBA, though. Got a wide open look. Just had a little bit too much mustard on the pass. The Burrow needed two more inches there. 6-5 <laughs> yeah. would have been perfect. Esparza with the right hand passes to the wing. That's Isaac Padilla, no good. And Tevin Smith clears it. Smith right up the middle of the floor. Hudson Hanson with the right or left hand. Great misses. Move. Thomas brings it up. It. Thomas. Esparza. 
Barza sets the table. I think he could have got away with a travel there. Solomon Jones with the right hand, good. That's Way to good take, take it directly at the big guy in Solomon Jones, knowing that, that he has a, a, a slight advantage on Kabunga. Quasi, no good for three. Solomon Jones pulls down the rebound, and here comes Thomas. Thomas, that's going to be a charge. You're going to give him an call. offensive. Great. Way to, way to give up your body, DeBro. Way to give up your body. That was a great play by DeBro. Puts his body on the line, steps in front of Thomas, and takes it in the chest. Thomas, another one of those guys. I mean, that kid could play running back. He could play linebacker. Anything you want him to play in college football. Cullen, got the body, I, Cullen, I don't know how you, you you're taking the words <laughs> out of my mouth, Cullen. He just, you know, he, we just got a glimpse of him running passes. I'm like, well, are we watching basketball players or are we watching football players? USC's got a decent football program. They Come can on. use him in hey, both sports. All he needs to do is just switch over the cleats to the to the hardwood and hardwood to the cleats. It'll work out perfect. Great charge. Now Sparza draws a charge on DeBro. Great charge. One Great thing, team defense one going thing, on right one now. One thing that I can hang my hat on when I watch a Veritas coach team is they're going to be disciplined oh, yeah. on the defensive end. That means it's going to be people in the pass, and it's going to be people rotating over to take the charge. It's really an unselfish type of mentality on defense. It's not I have a man. It's I have the ball, and the ball is the goal to get. Right. Boomster has checked in the game, and Esparza misses on the three. Short. The quasi. Brings it up, cross court to DeBro. DeBro takes the screen from Lewis. Jalen Lewis gets trapped in the corner. Gives it up to Tevin Smith. Ball we'll fake, mid range, no good. Esparza pulls the rebound. Boonstra gives it up to Archer. Archer travels. I don't want to travel. Too many steps. Sheriff Jamps checks into the game. Unforced, unforced, unforced errors. I hear Coach, I hear Coach Brian from Veritas, you know, just, just harping on that. You, you, you took two good charges, then you come back with a turnover on the other end. You're giving it right back to him. Jabro, to Hanson, to Bukwazi, down to Lewis. Lewis gets and it up and one. For Sheriff Jens. Great three from Lewis out of the post to, to the cutter and Sheriff Jens. Great finish at the rim by Sheriff Jens. Sheriff Jens, 6'8 junior from Mongolia. Misses the free throw. Had the potential to tie it up right there with the, with the and one, but just couldn't get it to go. That rebound was to Padilla. Now Veritas in the half court. Solomon Jones out of control, loses the ball. And I believe it'll be a foul on Jones. Well, you know, you, you can see Coach B going to his bench. He has to get Malik. He has to get Malik Thomas right back in because he needs someone with consistent ball handling on the court. Thomas checks. Belmonte Davalos checks. That's three straight turnovers of Veritas. They're leaving points on the board here. Give, give USBA a chance to take the lead here. Sheriff Jens is going to th throw the lob to Lewis, and Lewis is going to get a push in the back and go the other way. Well, that's right there, Cullen, you know, you, Lewis had the obvious mismatch right there. Just take your time. There's no need to keep fighting with the post. You have the undersized guard on you. You, you sit down and let the guard find you. Don't push him out. Got caught with offensive foul there. Anytime there's a push in the back, it's an easy call for the official. Easy. Thomas all the way to the rim. Great verticality there. To go. Oh, good finish. You give up on the play. Monte DeBalos is there to clean it up. And we got a timeout from USBA. 30-second timeout. We'll take a short break with them. It's a grind session event on TanagerSports.tv.
Out of the timeout, USBA. Gets the ball into Brawl. Very nice came out. Very nice came out in a one-two-two full court press. A little adjustment Coach B made out coming out the timeout. Good job by Hanson to catch in the middle. Coach McKnight ready for a hand of the press well. I'm really impressed with USBA right now. You know, for, for, for only being together three weeks, you know, with the fires that you mentioned on earlier, they're really showing that they are, are coachable, or a coachable ball club. That's the exact word I was thinking, Hanson. Great move there, Hanson, but finish with the left hand. Going to get a foul here. Lewis to the rack. No good, but he draws the foul. I don't know if they're going to give him... Yeah, no shot. That's what I was thinking. They got it on the floor. The way Lewis is moving for, for his height and size is very impressive. Cook is back in. For Hanson. Hanson goes out. Right now, USBA down three. Make that two with the free throw good by Lewis. Monte Davalos gives it up to Thomas. Thomas observes. Thomas cross. Left hand. Mid range. No good. That's Jaden Phillips now with the basketball all the way to the rim. Nice right Whoa. hand. Oh, I think they're going to call a charge possibly. Oh, no, they're no, not. No, we get an one. The way Lewis reacted, I thought he was going to get the call, and I know why he wanted it. Use that off arm a lot of times, and the refs don't catch that. But nice finish, however. By Jaden Phillips. Yeah, by Jaden Phillips out of Bakersville, California, senior. Got interest from Fresno State, UTEP. I'll give you a trivia right. question here. First, UTEP. Who's the first guy you think of when you think of UTEP? May not be the same as mine, this but I, I, I'll Adam, give it to you. I, well, you're gonna have to give it to me. Tim Hardaway. That Tim Hardaway good. went to Utah. That is good. You got you got the killer <laughs> crossover with Tim Hardaway. There you go. Utah. Obviously a long time or a well. Yeah, it was really a long made time. his name at, at Golden State with Run go. TMC. Hey, there you go. Mitch Richmond, Chris Mullen. You talking some basketball there. The guys can really put it in the hole. <laughs> Got him with a travel. Turnover by Veritas. Got Smith checking in, replacing Gowaski. Also Sherry Jamitz. Oh, I'm sorry, Hansen out. Sure, Cott has also checked. And a Cott right on cue misses for three. Lewis with the rebound to Smith. Smith, Cook, Cook no good. Akat battles for the rebound, can't get it. And Jaden Phillips comes out with it. Thomas on the attack. Thomas, oh, good wraparound pass. Couldn't but get Belmonte the hand on wasn't ready for it. And now Smith advances. DeBro, no good, just rims out. Great pass. Thomas going the other way. He used the attack the here. Left hand, good. Yeah, he used the attack there. It's a great take, good time out here to get his team a break here for associate head coach Brian Sanchez. Veritas Titans, Veritas Prep Titans. 30 second timeout. We'll take one with them. This is a grind session event on tanagersports.tv. USBA, Washington back in the game. Gives it back to Cook. Now Cook ahead to Smith. Smith will give it back to Washington and we'll set up. 
Looks like USBA is going to set up an overload look here. Got a horns look here. Good screen from go. Cook, and that's a great play. Great set coming out of the timeout. I tell you what, I mean, to me, that's when you really, when you see good teams, you see good coaches, there's always something really good drawn up. And it, it was a basic play, there you but go. still, you get a good look, get a good, you know, to get you back in the game. They're down six. You want to get that easy bucket to get things rolling. Yeah, free throw's good, but I would like to piggyback off that. Yeah, you, you, you out of the time, he got the great play, but if you recall, that was the same pass that Lewis tried to make the brawl. Right. In the same exact set, but now you just swap it out with a bigger guy and right. and, and you get a free throws out of it. Can make can make it. Worthy comes out of the scrum with it. And now Thomas for three. And it's good. Give a lot of credit to Worthy there for coming out with the basketball on that play. It was about three players from USBA that he gets that ball from and ends up creating a three-point opportunity for Thomas. Well, that is a great stroke, looking stroke by Malik Thomas, but we saw that stroke from the free throw line. It's mm -hmm. a great stroke, and it's a reason that he's committed to USC. He's showing that he can kind of handle the pace like a Ty Ty Washington that we just saw from AC Compass last right. game. He, he's the guard on the court. He, the pace is in his hand. Coach B is letting him handle it, and, hey, right now they're up eight. He is the, he's the guy that I see right now that, that kind of controls the game for Veritas. They go at his speed, at his pace. He makes the decision. He's the decision maker. I'll agree 100% with that assessment. And clearly, like you said, he's got the trust of his coaches yeah. to, to have that role. And you know, for any any player, if, if your coach is trusting, it gives you more confidence to go out there and make mistakes. It gives you more confidence to go out there and make plays. So, you know, that, that's a testament to Veritas and that coaching staff. That's Cook for three, and he's Great good. Great shot by Cook. Way to respond out the timeout. Well, just wait. He's one of those kids, you can tell. Just wait till he gets a little rhythm and confidence about him, and he's going to take off. Any, any. Oh, you get, we got all, we got all pissed the foul there. Trying to set the high screen. But like you mentioned about Cook. You, 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 you can see any any eye. You can see the body size. You can see the way he moves. You can see his arm length that's going down to his knees. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's a sophomore with a stroke from students from 25 foot out already. Right. So you can see it, this should be the same play. Orange look again. And now and Cook, Cook to the rack. Cook, Cook starting to flex right his cue. muscle on the game. Right on cue. That's five quick points for Cook with the potential of making it six. Three-point ball game. Great adjustment out of the timeout by Coach McKnight. You know, hey, it, it's a game. The, both coaches, uh, well, I would say all coaches on grind session, I do. You know, we saw last game using the timeouts to, to, with, to withhold the run to come back from a run. Right. Cook was good from free throw line. Esparza brings him into the front court, hounded by Washington. Smith all over Thomas right now, and Thomas is going to the rack. And they're going to get him for a travel. That's just Thomas trying to make a little, 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 do a little too much. Archer checks for Thomas. Washington wants a little help. Washington is going to bring it up. Screen from Lewis. Refuses it. And now to Lewis. Lewis for three. No good. Washington gets the board. Nice great pass, pass by Cook. Washington and the great dunk finish by Cook. And just like that, we got a timeout from Barrett. It's tie ball game. And you know, you talked about it a minute ago that when players, if they start to sense the confidence from their coach, well, what about the confidence from their teammates on the floor too? And now I think you're starting to see Cook really getting to his groove here and once someone like, not to say that he doesn't have confidence already, yeah, yeah. but you know, you get, get to an event like this, maybe you have a game where you didn't shoot it so well, then you come back the next game, you knock down the first three or four shots of the game, and now you're a completely different player. And I, I'm starting to see that confidence come out in Cook right now, and that shows you why they've got him ranked as number two, or yeah. excuse me, number four in his class. Well, you know, Colin, you know, making eight great buckets. We'll give you a little confidence. You know, that's eight straight. You know, we, we saw we saw the two threes. Well, we saw a three, we saw an and one, then we just saw a dunk right there. That's eight straight points. 
So it's Cook being a sophomore. Only, only can build off that. Only can build off that. I'm, I'm excited to see this guy with the only weeks to come. And to tell you what type of talent that he has, I mean, that was pretty much a vertical dunk right there. Flat foot. He was right there under the basket and gets his elbows around the rim. That's when you know, you know, there's no ceiling, or the ceiling is extremely high for a kid like that. There you go. That's when, I don't know if you know, it's a long stick. They got a whole bunch of colors. That's when you can yeah. just jump straight up and, and, and hit all the sticks off. It's the vertical test. Right. Hey, that, that can impress any scout anywhere. Sure. I'd say Zion Williamson the oh, number one pick because of any that. scout anywhere. Esparza. Now to Thomas. Thomas is gonna have to get a shot off here in a second. He got five seconds on the clock. Gets it off, knocks it down, and Thomas is on a roll. Way to utilize the screen by Thomas. You know, it was hard for Lewis to really get out there and contest it. He just went straight up and shot the 15 foot of free throw line jump. That's 16 for Thomas. And we're going to stay here. USBA is going to have it on the baseline. The quasi checks. I love, I love the passion that both teams, both coaches are showing. You know, it's like, it's like a championship game. It's only day two of the bubble. 316 on the clock, 29-27. And there's Cook. Tries to dunk it over. That was worthy, I believe. It goes back it to was. that it goes back to that vertical that you're talking about, Colin. You know, he 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 receives the pass from Washington and goes straight up trying to slam it. Cook at the line. This is the first. Cook already with eight points here in the first half. Give him nine. I will go a little further and say give him nine straight. Thomas as far as across the court. Ramonte DeBalos. Thomas. Worthy turns it over. Washington pushes. Left hand bounce pass, no good. A little too Out much English on that pass. I'm really impressed with the way Washington is keeping his head up. Like, you know, he's keeping his head up at the point guard position. And also, I'm, I'm more impressed, equally impressed that he's a football commit <laughs> also, running the point guard for Coach McKnight. Worthy. Worthy all the way to the rim, no good. Take a and they're going to get Kakwazi for the foul. Great take by Worthy. Just going to finish the end one. Some perspiration on the floor we got to take care of. You know, Colin, I'm really impressed. You know, I know it's only day two, but just the, the precautions that the facility is taking, you know, throughout this era of the, being a COVID time, you know, the, 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 the necessary steps that everyone is taking with the sanitation, with the temperature checks, everything is in place that the grind session has for the safety of the players. Well, and that's something we haven't talked about. Every person in this building right now has had the test. Everybody. We, you know, me and you both had our nose yes, tickled sir. yesterday, I think it was. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's an uncomfortable deal, but like you said, it just it shows you the measures that the grind session is taking to put this event together. There you go. And it's just awesome. It's and, awesome and, to be and, a part and, of. And, and like you say, it, it's oh, a great shot by Thomas. A great shot by Thomas. You know, we, you know, just, just it shows it shows the level of importance that the player shows for you know with the grind session. They, they're willing to go all out for these players and for these players to get the opportunity to live their dreams in the future. Exactly right. We got a scrum going on here, and Cook comes up with it. Washington's gonna get the and one. 
Let's talk, let's talk about Cook again there, Colin. The, the little things. The little things there. On the floor making assists from his hind side. That's right. To Washington. You know, it's like, okay, Washington, you've been feeding me all day. Let me let me repay the favor back to you. <laughs> Great pass. Salt and checks from Mookie Cook. And Washington. All right, on the free throw. Free throw. 2.05 on the clock. That, that Thomas Washington matchup on defense. You know, Washington is really, really a hard nosed defender going on top of the screens on Thomas. Really making Thomas work, which he doesn't mind doing. On Thomas Pull up. mid range. No good. Short. Shot clock. I think we had a shot clock there. Alex Archer is going to draw the foul. No, Archer they're, slipped there. They're, they're a little confused that's about it. That's exactly where that perspiration on the floor was. The refs is trying to get things figured out here. You know, it was a little confusion on whether the ball, whether the shot clock reset or not on that offensive rebound, but we found out that it did reset. He had to tell somebody to be quiet. Don't know well, you know, that. well, you know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, you have to be firm. Great shot. Well, I'll say this. It wasn't a player that he was telling no. to be quiet. It wasn't a coach either. There you go. Great shot by Archer. Free throw made. Missed the front, missed the front end on the second one. Cook will bring it up. Minute and a half to go. Same horns look look like. Rawlings Kabange. We got a turnover. So Veritas takes possession. Thomas. Luke Thomas off the screen. Thomas for three. Short. We'll stay here with Veritas. 33-30, Veritas with a slim lead. 107 remains. I really like how Thomas is coming off these ball screens with confidence. He's really coming off looking for a shot. I would figure eventually that would start. The score table almost got tucked out here. Archer, it's called for the travel. The ref said he got a little drag. The bros checking in for Cook. Cook really, really, really put his imprint on in these last six minutes of the game. We have Barrett just with a three-point lead, 555, 55 seconds left to go. The bro. Oh, turns it over. No. Gets away with one there. The USBA's basketball on the sideline. For DeBro to be able to make that pass successfully, he's going to have to take one or two extra dribbles to get in position to get a clean look, clean pass lane to get the ball to Lamar Washington. I think they're going to revisit the low post with Lamar against 12. Washington on Correct. the post. He's just too big right now. Great coaching. Williamson. Great coaching by McKnight. Seeing the obvious mismatch. With, with Washington being a football player and basketball player against Christopher Lee. Yeah, you know, he's just, in that matchup right there, he's just got the strength advantage, if nothing else. And I'm they were going to try to take advantage of it. I'm Williamson a, just had his hands on him. Washington converts on the first free throw. Worthy checks back. 
chance to bring it within one. Padilla checks for Archer. Washington with a chance to cut it to one, and he does. Pressure here from USBA. Thomas, leading scorer in the game with 19, brings it up the floor. Thomas, head fake. Tough shot by oh. Washington. Make it 21 for Thomas. Tough shot, I'm sorry, tough shot by Thomas. USC commit, great up and under the be jumper. Old school, Mac, but I love the mid range game. I love when I see kids with the ability to knock that shot down. DeBro for three, no good. Well, Southton. Oh, great help, great game. USBA can't get it to go at the buzzer. 35 32 is your halftime score. Malik Thomas, 21 in the first half, leads all scorers. It's like, it's like Malik right now, like you said, he's playing at a great pace. And I'm going to swing it to Mikey Davis with the head coach, Billy McKnight. I'm here with coach Billy McKnight.